Do you want to learn Spanish but don't know where to start? Well, get ready for my five top tips on starting your journey to learning Spanish. I'm British polyglot Alex Rawlings, and today I'm giving my most practical tips for learning Spanish. I started learning Spanish at school and have really been learning it and speaking it ever since. I've lived in Barcelona for several years, and today I'm going to help you with your Spanish learning in case you dream of doing the same thing. So make sure you subscribe below for future Spanish learning videos. Let's get straight into it. Tip number one, which Spanish should you learn? Spanish is one of the most widely spoken languages in the world, with over 500 million native speakers worldwide. However, there can also be some variation in the types of Spanish spoken in each country, region, or even city. It's still the same language, but just like how the English that you'll hear in Yorkshire sounds different to how people speak in New York. Do it for Yorkshire! Hey, how you doing? The Spanish you'll hear in Mexico definitely sounds a bit different to how people speak in Madrid. El amor es confianza, el amor es dignidad, el amor es respeto. Toma su nombre de las perchas o percheles en los que se colgaba el pescado para su salazón. If you plan to be going to Spain, learn European Spanish. And if you're going to be spending more time in South America, learn Latin American Spanish. There are still some quite big differences within both of these pretty broad labels. For example, Argentinian Spanish is very different to Venezuelan Spanish. But as a beginner, it's easier just to think of it as two main types of Spanish, European and Latin American Spanish. European Spanish uses the th sound in words like cerveza, which in South America is pronounced cerveza. Cuecos llenos de cerveza. Cuando tomo una cerveza. And uh, European Spanish will use vosotros. Vosotras y vosotros. Uh, whereas in South America, you'll only hear people saying ustedes. Todos ustedes estuvieran. When they're talking to a group of people. Tip number two. Focus on pronunciation. Spanish pronunciation is one of those things that can actually trip people up when they're learning a new language, which is surprising because compared to English, pronouncing Spanish is actually quite simple. A lot of English speakers tend to overcomplicate things when they're speaking Spanish. Spanish has got five simple vowels. A, E, I, O, U. Unlike English, where these vowels can change quite dramatically, for example, O to O in English is all the same letter, in Spanish, these five vowels always remain the same, no matter where they come at the end of the word or the beginning of the word. That means, for example, that you will never hear an O sound like low anywhere in Spanish. It's always going to be an O like in hot, or E like in let, and never late. Practice these five vowel sounds as much as possible and you'll be well on your way to sounding like a pro. My friend and accent expert Luke talks about how to practice some of these vowels and other tricky Spanish words, so if you're struggling with any of these, make sure you check the Rosetta Stone YouTube channel for that video. Tip number three, learn phrases and don't question the grammar too much. To get yourself started in any language, the best thing to do is to start learning phrases for things like querría, no entiendo, habla, dónde está, these phrases can be a bit confusing if you're the kind of person who likes to know exactly what's going on inside a sentence and why we're using certain words instead of others. But in the early stages of learning Spanish, just learn these words without questioning it too much. These are the phrases that will give you a lot of expressive power in Spanish, and then, as you get more advanced, we can go back to them and see how each one is preparing you for a grammar point that you're going to be learning in the future. Tip number four, develop an ear for Spanish. This is perhaps one of the most intimidating things when you think about learning Spanish, is when you listen to two native speakers talking to each other at a million miles an hour, how will you ever be able to tune into that and understand what they're saying? But actually, word for word, Spanish is probably not spoken much faster than English or any other languages. But Spanish words tend to be a little bit longer than English ones, so it sounds like it's being spoken faster. And because Spanish only has those five vowel sounds, it can also be harder to distinguish between the sounds people are pronouncing, which means it all sort of merges when you hear it and you're not quite used to it. The best thing you can do is train yourself to listen to Spanish as much as possible and gradually start picking out the sounds. The more words you know, the easier this will be to do. Also, watch simple videos on YouTube with Spanish subtitles turned on so that you can read the words you're listening to, which can help to tune your ear to the sounds that you want to listen out for. Tip number five, be patient. Learning a language isn't something that happens overnight. Becoming really fluent in a foreign language is something that takes years and years. The good news though, is that you've started that journey already and every day you're getting a little bit closer to your goal. 
Don't be too hard on yourself for not knowing things, but be patient, be consistent, keep learning, and keep your eyes and ears open for new words and new expressions that you didn't know before. Gradually, you will get there. For more Spanish and other language learning tips, make sure you hit that button below and subscribe to the Rosetta Stone YouTube channel for our latest language learning videos, and click the link in the description for exclusive offers on all Rosetta Stone courses. In the next video, I'll be taking you through the most important verbs to focus on when you're learning Spanish. Until then, adios.